In this episode of Inquiring Minds, Michael Kinney finds out how a bulletproof vest stops a bullet. Persis Galwala looks at why some people need to wear glasses. And Chris Robinson wonders why the ocean is salty. I've got a bulletproof vest, and you're under arrest. I'm sorry, that's not right. Cut, cut, what's up, what's wrong, I'm, Mike? I'm sorry, it's not a bulletproof vest, it's a bullet-resistant vest. And second, bullets don't just bounce off. And third, I probably wouldn't be standing here if I was shot. Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, how does it work, then? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, first, let me reassure you that it does. This is a 357 Magnum bullet. Once fired, the force behind this is equivalent to a one kilogram brick moving at more than 150 kilometers per hour. Here are three phone books. Manfred, if you please. Okay, let's see here. Bullet went in here, went through one, two, was stopped here, the third phone book. Now this is the front panel from a level two vest, the kind worn by most law enforcement officers. Manfred? Yeah. Now the vest may look a little worse for wear, but upon further inspection, we discovered it stopped the bullet dead. Right about now, you're probably asking yourself, how could a flimsy vest no more than seven millimeters thick stop the power of a 357 Magnum? Well, the backbone of most bullet-resistant vests is a synthetic fiber. It's called aramid fiber. You probably know it as Kevlar or Tuaron. Huh, must be some special fiber to be able to stop a bullet. Well, it is. You see, the structure of an aramid fiber resembles a chain. See, the molecules are all securely bonded end to end. These bonds provide the fiber with incredible tensile strength, meaning it's pretty difficult to pull them apart. In fact, the average aramid fiber has a tensile strength five times stronger than an equal amount of steel it has less than a quarter the weight. This incredible tensile strength provides a stiff barrier against the bullet, but at the same time, the fiber has the ability to stretch. This give allows the fiber to absorb energy from the bullet. Think of an aramid fiber as a very stiff elastic band. But as unique as they are, one aramid fiber alone is not gonna stop a bullet. What you need to do is link several fibers together. And to do that, you weave them. The fibers are woven into a fabric, not unlike the way they weave fabric for clothing, except for one very important detail. The fibers are plain weaved, meaning over one, under one, over one, under one. This type of weave puts all the fibers in contact with each other, which is important when it comes to stopping bullets the weave as a net. When the bullet hits, it makes contact with only a few fibers. But because the fibers are all in contact with each other, the force of the bullet can be broadcast along each and every fiber in the weave. All the fibers share the load, which allows the weave to absorb more of the bullet's energy. But this intricate fabric is still not enough to stop a bullet. 
what you need to do is pile several layers of fabric together. This multiplies the dampening effect even more, because now each layer acts against the next. And that's just what they do. A standard level two vest contains 18 layers of woven aramid fabric. That's enough to stop a 357 Magnum bullet and most other handgun ammunition. So when you put it all together, a bullet-resistant vest works something like this. Pretend I am a bullet. And those are layers of woven aramid fabric. Okay, it's snow fence, but you get the idea. I power my way through the first layer, but as I go through each layer, I lose energy. I may have enough energy to make it through a few more layers, but eventually, I lose all my energy and stop. So a bullet-resistant vest doesn't repel bullets. It catches them, but not before they leave their mark. You see, a vest will stop a bullet from penetrating the body. But the bullet still packs a pretty good punch. Enough of a punch to leave you with a deep bruise or even broken ribs, but it sure beats the alternative. Another limitation of the bullet-resistant vest is the fact that it's a vest. I mean, what about your head or other important parts? Well, if you require more coverage, you may be interested in the deluxe model. This is the suit worn by the bomb disposal unit. You've got 24 or more layers of woven aramid fabric, ceramic armor plating for some extra protection, it even has a helmet. All in all, the suit weighs about 42 kilograms. In fact, this suit can withstand a stick of dynamite at three meters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm wanted on the set. <laughs> 